everyone. Welcome back. Well, welcome to my series on Google Analytics, which is the new GA4, because I had one for Universal Analytics and that's gone. So this is the new one. And the first thing I want to show you is just how to connect your Google Analytics to your Etsy shop. Etsy has finally updated the code section where you can put that in. So let's go over to Google Analytics and look at that. And then I'll show you where to put that in in Etsy. All right, we're in my Google Analytics account now. And you're not going to see this message up at the top eventually. This is, it's right before the switch over to the new system. This is the new system. And to get that code to go into your Etsy shop, you need to go to Google Analytics. I'm assuming that you have a Google Analytics account. I can do a video about how to set that up if you don't have one, but that'll be in a few days. It's, it gets confusing because I have so many accounts set up. Now, the one thing I will say, you only need one account and then you can create properties within that account. And think of the account as like your, your whole business. That's everything that's under your business. And if you have multiple websites, multiple blogs, whatever, you know, wherever you're selling, you can have each one of those as a property within that one account. So you really only need one account. I have my Google Analytics set up for multiple accounts because for me, it makes that, it makes more sense just to be able to see everything. So it's kind of a mess. What you want to do is click here and you want to find, see, I've got all these different things. So let's see, we're going to find my Etsy shop. I just have it under Etsy shop and see all this is I'm deleting stuff. It should be alphabetical. Okay, so Etsy shop, and then you want to go over here. Eventually, this is going to go away because that says UA. That's the old system. So you're probably just going to see GA4, and that's the new system. You want to find the one that you want to track. And in this case, it's my Etsy shop here, and just click on that one. And now, okay, it's giving me these messages. If this is the thing that you see, that's fine. If you don't see this, that's also fine. Okay, but I'm just going to go ahead and select the property. I've done this multiple times. And Google is just making everybody do it again. It's very irritating. Um, do not freak out with these numbers. These numbers are not exactly right. And it's, it's a different way of measuring things than the old system used to be. And it's not gonna line up with Etsy stats because of how Google measures things. It's a mess, okay? So I'm not a big fan of this system. But I am going to be doing some more videos about it later. Uh, let's go to the admin panel. What you want to do to get that code, go to the admin panel at the bottom. Once you're in the account, you have to make sure this is the right account that you want to track. So go to the admin panel, and then you're going to go to data streams. Okay, and that's in the property, which is this. This is like the division of your company that you're looking at. So data stream, and then you're going to click on this because it's going to give you all the information about it. This is the measurement ID that you want to put in Etsy. Okay, so just click to copy that. And then we're going to go over to Etsy and we're going to go to settings and options and web analytics. Okay, and this is where you put that number in. Now I have put it in already, so I'm not going to do that. If you have a number that says UA at the front, that's the old system. And that is what you want to change. So just delete that out and put the new one in and then click save and you're fine. And what you wanna do is go back to Google Analytics and look over here. And it says, it'll say something like receiving traffic or traffic is coming. You might not see any data yet because when you flip it over, it will take a little while. And when I first put this in, it didn't show that it was collecting data right away, but it did show real-time traffic, which if you go to your homepage here in this little icon, It'll show you real-time traffic. So if you see, like this is probably me, right? But if you see people here and you see users, then it's probably fine. But if it says over here in the admin panel, again, admin, data stream, receiving traffic. So if it says receiving traffic, then it is connected to Etsy and you're okay. You don't need to worry about anything else at this point because it's going to take a while to start the traffic in. And if you had a universal analytics account, Google says that they're going to just continue that information. So you'll have the data from the previous account when they switch this over on July 1st, which is in two days as I record this. Now, if you see this complete setup up here, and I'm not sure if Zoom has put my face right over this, right? So up here at the top, there's a little red button that says complete setup. I might as well go ahead and do this. Let's complete the setup because there's a lot of stuff on here that you can't do with an Etsy shop. This is the problem. So it's gonna confuse a lot of people. All right, data collection, it says data is flowing. You're good, you don't need to do anything else. 
turn on Google Signals. The signal is on. If this says Google Signals is off, just click over here and click turn it on. That's all you need to do. Set up conversions. This is this is a little bit different. This does not mean sales. Okay, in Google Analytics, a conversion is an action that someone takes while they're on your site that you have set up to say, this is what I want to look at. It's confusing and they do have some default conversions, which is like the visitors and the, the traffic and that kind of stuff. But I have not started on this yet. I'm going to wait and I'm, I'm going to wait until it all switches over and then I'm going to do it in the interface as it is so that we can do some tutorials that way. And that's how that is. Now they have two audiences that they've defined for you already. And you can import it if you have that set up in Universal Analytics. Um, but if you want to just click Manage Audiences, All Users and Purchasers, you cannot track purchasers on Etsy as far as I know, because that's the Etsy system. Etsy can track it, but we can't because our shop is not the Etsy checkout. As soon as people go to the checkout on Etsy, they're in Etsy system, not in our shop. So I think that this is always going to be less than 10 because they can't track it from our analytics, but it, you know, it doesn't mean you don't have purchasers. It just means that they can't track it. All users is just people who have come to your shop. And again, this number is incorrect because this is tracking for the last week and it's a lot higher than that for me. That's what the audience thing means. And we're just going to go back. So some of these you can't do, you know, I've, I've got, you know, property settings is done, but it says I only have one thing done. So I'm just going to ignore that Google ads. I'm not going to run Google ads to my Etsy shop. So no, I'm not going to do that. It's not started and it's going to stay not start. Let's look at advanced setup, import data and en enhance your reporting with more data sources. Learn more. A lot of this is going to be specific to websites and you really can't do it with Etsy. I will go in and look at this and I will do some tutorials in the future, but at this point, I wouldn't worry about any of this. Collect and do Google Analytics from a brand range of online, offline environments. See, this is this is for people. The reason that they switched to Google Analytics 4 is so they could consolidate kind of mobile and app traffic. So if people have an app for their website, it's now being reported in this one place with the website traffic from, from desktop. So it's it's not really for us. It's not really for Etsy sellers, but a lot of this stuff is for websites, not for Etsy sellers. So don't worry about any of this. Don't freak out when it says setup assistant is one of seven mark complete, because there's a lot of stuff you can't do for Etsy, for example. All right, back in data streams, I'm going to click on this again. And if you scroll down here, you can, this is, this is the kind of thing we might be able to do. I'm going to have to look into it. Um, but like the tags and that kind of stuff. I don't have, I don't think that we can do this for Etsy. I've never worried about doing it because really this is Etsy's site. It's not our site. And you can't put tags in the back end of Etsy unless Etsy lets us, which is what they're doing when they're letting us put the Google Analytics code in there. But they haven't given us a place to put tags. It's a different thing. Don't worry about it. Okay. This is really for your website. And then you would have to take care of it that way if you want to. Um, but it's not something that you want to worry about now. Now, the other thing is that people will say, have you set up your search console? You can't set up search console or merchant center. And those are the two things. There's a search console, merchant center. You can't do this for Etsy. Again, it's not your site. Etsy is not your site. If this has a, if you have a website, yes, you should do merchant center and that, and some of these other things. But you don't need to do it for Etsy because you can't, all right? So don't worry too much. As long as you have the code in the right place and you've saved it and it says that it is importing data, it's receiving traffic, data is flowing, then you don't need to worry about anything else right now. I am, like I said, going to be doing some more tutorials showing maybe how we can set up audiences and that kind of thing. I know that there is stuff that you can do. I have not seen that we can get as much information from Etsy using this system as we could doing the old one, but there might be a way and I just don't know about it. So I'll, fi I'll figure it out. I'll come back and do some more tutorials. That was a very long-winded version of how to connect your Etsy shop and what to look for in Google Analytics as far as the setup goes. I'll get into more of the specifics later. So give this video a thumbs up and watch for more coming.